celebrating women doing big things in the world of sports ball. As a reporter for ESPN and now for Fox Sports, our first guest has been front and center at some of the biggest sports ball events in the world. She's an ambassador for Fox's free streaming service, Tubi, and her apparel line, Wear, which is super cute, by the way, just expanded with more styles to support your favorite NFL teams. Please welcome Erin Andrews! Touch your hug, it's weird. I know. Um, but good for people that don't like doing that. I'm just not one of them. <laughs> um, it's great to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. I, was, I was remembering when I was pulling up today, first time I was here, it was like when you kicked it off. It was I your know. first season, baby. I, I love that you speak in sports ball. Yeah. You kicked it off. It's like, I <laughs> am going to teach you somehow, Cal. I, I am. What, I promise. What, yeah. I enjoy it when I'm at the game. See, I'm very specific. Yes. I, if I'm at the game, the energy of it, I can get into it. And I don't even know who I'm yelling for, but I'm excited about it. It's just yeah. like a TV. I don't know. Well, I love, like, obviously, the food. I mean, yes. the chicken fingers, hot, hot dogs, dogs all of it, the beers. Yes. Yes. When you go to Lambeau, where the Green Bay Packers play, yes. um, freezing, and they have, like, frozen beer. I think I've been there. Is that where they have the big green? No, no, no. What, like the big what is green that? what? Wait. Is that in Boston? Where is that? There's God, a big old you. green thing. The Green Monster. Green Monster. That's where the Boston Red Sox play. Different I, sport, I played, but it's... I played um, catch in there. <laughs> they also sell insane hot dogs there called Fenway Franks. Dude, I'm going to tell Ridiculous. you, I got to sing um, during the whole series. They ended up breaking their, like, streak. It was like there was some 80-year the yes. yeah, curse. Yeah, the yeah, curse. yeah. And I like to think I was a part of the, you are. the magic you did it. that broke it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was really inspiring to be there. I will say yeah. that. The energy was crazy. Who, speaking of inspiration, what, what women inspire you in sports right now? Well, I mean, I love any of the women that are coming up. I, I kind of like how it's changed over the years and everybody's kind of adding their own like kind of flair and kind of like, yeah. you know, different way that they do reporting. Um, the one girl, I or woman, I grew up loving. I used to call her my Michael Jordan of sports broadcasting. Her name was Melissa Stark. And she was, when I was in college or in high school, she was kind of like the one on the sidelines. She was young and um, she just really, really held her own. So how have you seen sports help people in this last year? I'll tell you how it hasn't helped um, is in the sense that people missed it. Like all my yeah. friends, literally I'm the black sheep. Like all my friends and my sister, everybody, they love sports. Yeah. They know everything about sports. And uh, they they were really sad. It, they, mm -hmm. the, it was like a void for them, like not having that to watch. Yeah, well, it was hard when we were in the middle of quarantine and everything was happening. We didn't even know if we would go back to work for the NFL, right? But then obviously, wow. thank goodness, the NFL fell and all the networks figured out a way like you guys are doing with the voice and here have it all on and try to figure out how you kind of just regroup yeah um but I think sports has been huge because it just gives people a sense of relief like when you guys couldn't do your show or you guys were doing this from home mm -hmm. I just felt like it was a good distraction for people you yeah. know like it felt like some kind of normal yeah. was left yeah. people needed that for a good four hours of the day to like cheer and scream for their team and not cheer and scream at the tv and just yeah you know be so frustrated about what was going on obviously mm -hmm. with corona and so forth so it was really I, I thought it was so important and, and we've seen examples of that like when 9-11 happened and they they got baseball going and everybody's like should we play or should we not because of what happened and it's like the country needs it the country needs to come together and mm -hmm. feel some excitement and root for somebody yeah and kind of get the bad taste out of their mouth for a bit especially isn't that like the classic American sport yes like baseball I like that, I did, mm -hmm. do I know that you stats do. I think Way I to I go do. I think I knew something um I think it's because of Field of Dreams or a movie um you but, know <laughs> more than you give yourself yeah, credit for. I really don't but every once in a while I do know something what was your first reporting job like out of college so my first reporting job I I'm from the south I'm from Florida yeah. and like I knew college football and my first job was with an NHL team I knew nothing about hockey when I got my first job I actually did like you know I knew the part I read cliff notes um like hockey for dummies yeah. right before my first job interview yeah to try to wow them and they knew I was full of it and I didn't know what I was talking about but I was like I'm gonna work so hard you're gonna love me yeah I love that girl look at it you look can't at it know now. everything but, the, no. but to have somebody that's willing to like really do their homework and really get in there that I was horrible though yeah. I was bad like you look back now we all stuff. weren't great when we started at what yeah. we're doing right. like, let's all point that out <laughs> Um, so um, your dad inspired you to get into mm -hmm. sports. Um, does he give you advice like while you're on TV? Because my mom will literally be like, why did you turn your chair for that person? Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and she's very bold with like her comments to me and it's awesome. But, but does your dad do that? Yeah, so uh, we're live. So my dad's watching along as you know, oh. the game is. So he's like texting me during the game and some people are, are always saying, you're always on your phone. I'm like, well, yeah, cause my dad's texting me during, like, there you go. Yeah, my dad is texting me during the game. He is an investigative reporter. He just retired. Um, I hope he gets to enjoy the retirement soon and get out of this uh, misery that everybody's been dealing with. But he does, he watches the game. He'll always say, slow down, you're talking too fast. Put the mic closer oh, to your face. You. But then I start to panic, like if I have a losing interview or if I know I have a big you know, interview coming up, he'll be mm -hmm. like, ask him this, ask him this. I always feel like Carson on The Voice, like comparative speaking, I always feel bad for him. Like, oh my God, yeah. what about the people that walk off and they mm -hmm. don't make it? Like you have to sit there and you're with their families. Like, and ask them that's questions. hard. Yeah, it is hard. And the yeah. hardest one that I always have to do is the Super Bowl. I, for some reason, I always choose the losing coach and you have to interview the losing coach at the end of the Super Bowl. This is the biggest game of their life. And the these poor guys, I mean, I get so sensitive when I see them walk in and they just are like, hi, Aaron. And I'm like, and my dad always texts me, don't look sad, don't look sad and stop talking soft. You have to be like direct. And I'm like, dad, they just lost the biggest game of their life. But what How'd they, that go? But what they probably don't want is like a pity thing. They probably don't, you know, that's You're probably, right. yeah, they yeah. probably, maybe that's why, I don't know. That's a hard, I would, it's I would pass on it's that. Hard pass. It's Carson times 20. Yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> that's horrible. Well, you're an ambassador for Tubi and you've expanded your clothing line wear, which is mm -hmm. super cute, y'all. Um, so can you, you tell us a bit about both of those? Yeah, so Tubi is Fox's new streaming service, which is really great because they have over 30,000 movies and TV shows. And look, what did we all do during quarantine? Girl. Yeah, yeah. we watched the streaming services. And also, like, they like to call themselves the comfort food of streaming services. So it's like old okay. movies that you forgot you loved so much. Like the other I day, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Did oh you my ever watch gosh. It? Yeah. What? Those are pillows. <laughs> John Candy, oh Angel. my God, I love you. You just, that's amazing. Well, we're gonna we're gonna play a game with flying sports balls next. Um, have you? That's a good tease. Um, oh, yeah. Have you ever been hit by a sports ball? I have. I have been hit at a major league baseball game. I'll set the scene for you. I was on third base side, so that's right where third base is. First, second, third, home. Third base side. Guy hit a line drive, which means straight across. There was nothing that broke like where the ball was coming, the security guard that was with me actually ducked when it came my way and I went like this and it smacked me clear as day in the mouth. There it is, hot. Holy moly. It bounced off my face and landed behind me, but I was fine. Dang. Doctor said I had a jaw steel, you know what I oh mean? Oh my gosh. That, I would brag about that. Yeah. I would brag about that. <laughs> Want more fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool, I'm just saying. No pressure.